Good morning, good morning, good morning, fam. Happy Sunday to everybody. Woohoo, it's the Lord's Day, and we shall be glad in it. Are y'all happy about the Sabbath? I hope you had a good night's sleep last night and that you are excited and ready for today. I'm enjoying a great cup of coffee from my new Keurig. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite cups, my BFF cup that my best friend Maria uh, got me um, for when she came to visit me uh, a while back. So, um... I wanted to uh, let you guys know or teach you guys, well, not really teach you because I've shown this before, but kind of help you or, 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 or include you on my journey of um, my new workout plan this week. So this is the week that I said that I was going to do a lot of smoothies. And so in the morning, I'm going to be doing uh, the fruit smoothies um, because that fruit really gives me good energy in the morning to get through my day. And then about mid-morning or before lunch or even for lunch, I'm going to do my green smoothies with my new smoothie maker that my sister bought, sister LeVette bought me. So I um, just want to show you how to make a, a quick um, fruit smoothie in the morning that really does give you a lot of energy to take you through the morning. So of course, I'll be drinking my decaf coffee uh, in the mornings. But um, what you want to do is remember uh, last time when we talked about you just take some frozen bananas or you take some bananas and freeze them and then you have your frozen bananas ready for you uh, for the, um, the smoothies. So you want to take the bananas out just a little bit before you're going to make the smoothie to give it time to thaw out a little bit. The bananas that I have in here are really, really brown because the browner you let the bananas get, the sweeter they are and the less you'll be tempted to have to put sugar in your smoothies. So the ones that I have in here are really brown. This is probably two bananas. And then when you buy your blueberries from the farmer's market, you can freeze them right in the container that they came in. You don't have to put them in there. So I'm just going to take a handful of blueberries and add to the bananas. Actually, just a little bit over a handful because I love the blueberries. And then um, this is a half a cup of milk. And um, I usually don't measure. I just kind of pour. But this is almond milk. I don't drink regular milk anymore. So get any brand of almond milk that you like. I like this brand. And um, I'm just going to pour. I don't think I'm going to put the whole half a cup in here. But I'm just going to. Yes, I am. I'm going to put the whole half a cup of milk in there. So a half a cup of um, almond milk. But this is the big uh container for the Nutribullet. So that's it. So it's uh, two bananas, um, a handful, a little bit over a, a heaping handful of blue frozen blueberries and uh, frozen bananas, and then about a half a cup of uh, almond milk. And um, those are all the ingredients that you need. You don't need to add sugar. You don't need to add honey because you let your bananas get ripe. And then you just put it down on the Nutribullet. That away. This Nutribullet uh, this magic bullet is 250 watts, so it is good for fruit smoothies, but not necessarily good for uh, veggie smoothies or green smoothies. But my 1400 watt that my sister bought me is going to really do my green smoothies good. So, okay, let's hit the grind on this. Let's spin up a little bit. take it off one time if the fruit is not good and thawed I tried to uh, expedite this process so just shaking it up a little bit. You know when you're trying to make a video everything is not going to cooperate okay let's give this one more shake but typically if you let your bananas thaw enough you don't have to shake you can just put it on there and everything is soft enough to just go ahead and grind up okay
Let's give it one more shake. I should let those bananas thaw just a little bit more. this video because this is not working out the way I thought it would. morning she's just not cooperating okay let's try it one more time okay there we go there we go finally she's ready I don't know why that took so long okay so if that happens to you when you're making your smoothies then just let your fruit thaw out a little bit more before you start or let your bananas throw out now she ready and she is looking good 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 so just take you a nice pretty glass and then just pour your smoothie into your glass like so see that's a whole glass full and Get you a nice pretty straw. So since I'm having a purple smoothie, I want a purple straw. Put your straw in there. And all this is is bananas, blueberries, and almond milk. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. I need a new word. Uh, can't say fantabulous. Um, how about yummy-licious? This is yummy-licious. Yummy licious. So, mmm. Enjoy your healthy eating. Enjoy your Sunday. And enjoy your smoothie. I'll just see you in the next video. How about that? Mm -hmm.